When it comes to planting vegetables and sowing seeds, it can be a little confusing in knowing when to start that clock when it comes to timing, but it's so important. So let's clear up some of that confusion today and talk about how to get the timing right, whether you're sowing seeds or starting seedlings. You know that pack of tomato seeds that you buy and you look on the label and it says 80 days to maturity? I know what you're thinking. You're wondering, well, does that mean from the time I put that seed into the tray indoors or from the time I put that seedling into the ground outside? Or maybe you buy a seedling that's ready to go in the ground and the tag in the seedling says 80 days to maturity. Well, which is it? Are they both right? Well, no. And here's what matters. If the seed is traditionally sown indoors, you have to add that amount of time, which is typically six to eight weeks, to the time that you put that seedling into the ground. That's when the clock starts. When the seed goes into the ground outside, if that's traditionally how that seed is sown, or the seedling, that's what's taken into account when they put that information on the packet or in the plant tag. So again, with a tomato seed, if it's eight weeks indoors, it's eight weeks added to the 80 days. So now we're talking about 140 days or somewhere between four and five months before you reach full maturity, not just 80 days. So what matters is how that seed is traditionally sown. And if you start those seeds inside normally, you have to add that amount of time to the maturity date on the package. Now let's talk about seeds that are traditionally sown directly outside into the garden. And I have a pack of beet seeds here and beets are a good example of seeds that are usually sown outside. So the information on the package, in this case it says 65 days to maturity, well that's the amount of time that you can expect for it to take before you can harvest your first beets, having directly sowed them into the garden outside. Now let me throw a curveball at you because usually I start my beet seeds inside because I like to control that environment. So now the question is, well, how do I know how long it's going to take if I start my seeds inside? Will it be 65 days as well? Probably not, and here is why. Inside, you've got an artificial environment, starting with the light. An indoor grow light is about a tenth as strong as direct sunlight outside. So that's going to slow down the length of time it's going to take for those seedlings to mature. And then you have soil temperature inside, whether or not you're using a heat mat or not. Well, it's typically not matched up directly with the soil temperature outside. So that can slow down the maturity date even longer. So again, the information on the seed pack for beets and other seeds that are directly sown outside, it's assuming that that's what you're doing. And so that's the reasonable amount of time that you can expect to get maturity when you directly sow outside. And now that I've started throwing some wild pitches at you, I want to throw one more curveball at you. And it has to do with like leafy crops and lettuce is a good example of what I want to talk to you about here. On the packet, it talks about sowing these as a recommended way directly outside into the soil. But on the front, you look at the maturity time and it's like 21 to 50 something days. That is a wide range. Now there's a couple reasons for that. First of all, lettuce doesn't really have a defined or final maturity date. You can start eating lettuce as soon as you get leaves. So that's why the wide range here, but also even though it's recommended that you sow these directly outside because they do germinate really quickly, you can do it inside too and it germinates just as quickly and you can start eating on it just as fast. So this is one that could be either or and the dates to maturity are really the same. And here's an example of some lettuce that I sowed just a couple weeks ago inside in these flats and you can see how great they're looking. And really, once you have leaves, this is edible. So 14 days in, this is ready. But the thing is, you can do that with arugula or spinach and other leafy crops as well. Start it outside, inside, but the bottom line is you can go either way and the date to maturity is about the same. All right, so there's one more issue with timing that we need to take into consideration so that we give our plants enough time to mature so that we actually get a harvest. And I'm talking about the first frost date of fall. That's a very important date. And you need to know that so that your plants have enough time to mature in the ground before they can be killed off by a frost, for example. So how do you find out that date? Well, go online and put first frost of the year for my area, and you're going to get a number of hits on that, and you're going to find out that date. And then you need to work backwards. So let's use that tomato example. On that seed pack, it said 80 days to maturity, and we already know that that means from the time that that seedling goes into the ground. So in round numbers, that's like three months. 
So let's say the first frost of the year is November 1st. Well, that means you're going to be using up all of October, all of September, and all of August to get to that point that your plants are going to need, the tomatoes in this case, the 80 days, for them to mature before you get to that first frost. And you want to provide a little extra cushion there. So buy yourself a little extra time when you do that calculation. But with tomatoes, if you started them inside, probably midwinter, maybe in February, and we add another eight weeks to that, that's two more months. So now we're talking about in total five months that we need to allow from the time that we put the seed into the ground inside to where it's planted outside as a seedling, and then it has enough time to fully grow and mature so that we actually get a harvest. So if you're starting plants from seed, take that time into consideration as well. But the bottom line to all of this is by knowing that first frost date of the season, you're giving yourself enough time for maturity once you put those plants in the ground so you actually do get to a harvest.